Tonight, shelters and groups who serve Duluth's unhoused are speaking out about that newly passed encampment ordinance. Counselors narrowly approved the ordinance Monday at the end of a seven-hour meeting and makes camping on any city property worthy of a fine. Northern News Now's Kara Kopp is hearing from the city's shelters tonight about the extra pressure they'll soon face and the help they want from the city and state. Motion passes five to four. Monday's approval of the encampment ordinance has sent local homeless service providers scrambling. It's going to be a tougher road ahead. One of those providers I spoke with on the phone, the Damiano Center. The group has served Duluth's unhoused for more than 40 years, but now more than ever, they need more supplies and space. We've done safe bay, we have safe storage, we have the laundry love that Chum is running. I mean, there's, and then we have lots of beds coming on this fall and this winter, and then there's a bunch more beds that are coming, but it's not enough. On top of the many people Damiano already provides services for, the updated ordinance will likely bring more people to the front door causing their already exacerbated resources to be even more taxed. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried for our, for the guests that we serve. And as of now, the money to meet the need isn't there. We've had plans ready to go. We had one plan that would have been completed with 200 beds here in August. It was going to be started built in, in January, and we didn't have enough funds. And it's not just the Damiano Center feeling the pain. There's never been a greater need, I think, for the nonprofit organizations in the community. The Union Gospel Mission served 5,700 meals last July alone. This month, more than 8,000. Leaders there say if they want to continue to help those most vulnerable in the community, they need more money. But that is going to take a greater investment, not just from this community, but statewide as well. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. Tara, thank you. Now, Duluth's Mayor Roger Reiner did tell us in an exclusive interview yesterday he is aware of those funding concerns. He did mention the recently approved $500,000 in COVID relief funding to support these organization efforts. But he told us that funding was just a Band-Aid. In fact, Reiner hopes to take part in helping to create a space for a triage center or emergency housing. In order to do so, he said he's ready to head down to the Capitol. One of the things that our community can expect is to hear me lobbying the governor and the state. You've got to bring some of that back. In the meantime, service providers say they are trying to get creative. Those with Union Gospel Mission are working to turn a part of their property into a triage and emergency housing.